All right. Well, let's see. I've now unlocked the little camera tripod thing, so if I go to World 7, I should be able to take lots and lots of fun little pictures. So let's go to World 7 and... These worlds, and we within them Shut up! I'm supposed to be the one making the commentary right now. Lord, Lord knows, if it weren't for me... We wouldn't have uh, talked even remotely about Taylor Swift for like three minutes. So, you know. No, the thing that gives me meaning in my life is Taylor Swift. What the hell is that? Oh, this thing can't hurt me. Look at that. What's she gonna do? Huh? 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 Fucking Daedra ass looking laser beam Half-Life 1 looking particle of Effect, motherfucker, thinking you're so cool coming out of the Half-Life 2 wall. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh. Uh. Yeah, watch this. I want you to Daedra laser beam my butt if I could crouch in this game, but I can't. So that really undermined that whole thing. Uh, let's take this connector. Point it at a target. Point it at another target. Alright. Mm -hmm. So I can connect that to to what to this? Oh, I'm supposed to connect it to this little uh, thing over here. Can I do that? And then I put it here, and then I see I see how this works. Oh, oh, look at that. I'm impervious to lasers, too. Huh. Can't do a goddamn thing against me. Ow. Oh. Okay, so I can block the laser beam. That's kind of amusing. Ah. It's like a little massage via laser beam. Alright, so I'm on this side here. And we have another couple of connectors uh, strewn about. I think that I need to... There we go. I was That's what I was looking for. I was going to say I can probably sequence connectors into each other. So if I grab this thing and then I grab that connector over there. And I just place this down ever so gently. Then now that brings down this area. And I can grab the jammer. And... Now that I have the jammer, I should be able to work my way through the remainder of the things here. So I'm going to jam that, because I don't know what it does yet, but it seems probably like a good idea to jam that thing. And let's see. Now that I've jammed over here... Oh, okay, so there is a connector, but I just need to get to the right side of the wall to actually use it. There's a hotkey... Uh, for the crystal stands that isn't mapped by default. Well, if it's not mapped by default, then me using it is obviously cheating at the game, so... You know. I, uh, I respect this game way too much to try and, uh, use custom key bindings just to make my life easier. This isn't, you know, like a Windows XP... What the hell am I even thinking? Um, cool. So I have the jammer. So what I'm gonna do is C... Oh, okay, so the connector can actually fork things. So I could use the connector from here to potentially open up that thing. So what happens if I do that? Let's grab this connector. Can I select that thing through the gate? I can. But I can't actually see it unless I come right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that breaks the... That that prevents me from being able to do that. Alright. So... I can set this up to be right here, though. So we'll put the connector over there. And I may need to use the jammer to hold open the door that this connector was once working towards. So if I just scan that and I select that and just put it down here... I can come on through into here, use this jammer... Rejam that door, take this connector, drop it here, and then if I put this just in this vicinity, 
I think that the other connector will be able to connect to that. And we'll be able to use that to open up that door to get the third connector. Now, it looks like I need to grab that jammer again. Luckily, it's on this side. Uh, just to get through here. And if this worked out the way I think it did, then I can select that. And I can select that. And then both should be visible here. All right. Now I can, I've grabbed the last connector thing. And all I need to do now is connect this to that. And then I'm going to need to probably use the jammer to get through this these couple of remaining things. Um, so the annoying thing about this puzzle is that it's really, really long. <laughs> Uh, kind of, kind of really long. I can grab that thing, and then I can grab this, and like, I don't know. It's okay, but I feel like this is just really, like, I, I've already got the mechanic here. I'm just supposed to use the lasers to knock shit out, and... I just feel like I get it. <laughs> you know, I feel like uh, I know what I'm supposed to do here, so. All right, I can use probably one of the, uh, hmm. This is kind of interesting. How do I? What do I do with this? Uh, there's no wall over here. This has already been blocked through. And... Okay, let's just go back through the maze here. There's nothing on these other sides that I can send a laser beam through. We do have this laser beam, so I, I'm pretty sure, certain that I have the crystal connector set up just fine. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is just use the jammer to get one of them. Either that or there's something really easy that I'm overlooking. Now, all, this is kind of frustrating because this means that I need to go back through the stuff that I already solved purely for the sake of getting the scanner on the other side of this thing. Uh, it's not too terrible, though. I can come over here, and I can just, uh, connect this guy to that guy. Plonk it down. And then from this connector, I can connect it to there. This will allow me to get the jammer. I can jam this from the other side. I can come in and grab my old connector. And now I have enough connectors to be able to solve this, uh, this, sequ this series of puzzles, and it won't even be, like, a challenge now. Uh, watch that there's, uh, gonna be one laser in the game that kills you. Uh, that would be really, really funny. <laughs> I would, I, I, I would, I would love for the game to counter troll me that hard just at the very end. It's like you tried to fuck with me. We're gonna we're gonna put you in your place. Oh cool, I got an achievement for doing that. It's called making connections, something I'm terrible at. Okay. Oh. What? I'll mess with that later. That's what happens when you press tab. You get a confusing screen. Cool. So that's the first World 7 puzzle down. I don't know if these are supposed to be particularly harder or easier than anything else, but they had the number seven on them, and I solved it. So I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, leap of faith to assume that that means that I have the intelligence of seven. Yeah. Seven years old. IQ of seven. Double O seven. These sigils are becoming harder to reach. I dread what the next temple holds in store. And at the end, what? Eternal life? There's got to be another way. K 
Okay, that's Sheep69 once again. I'd high five Ladybird, but she's uh There we go. Alrighty. Ow. That one was a little hard. <laughs> uh Ladybird's get been getting swole, so she doesn't know her own strength, and now she's staring at me. Um did, did that hurt? No. Are you sure? Yeah. It's just uh it's a stung just like a tiny tiny bit, but it didn't hurt. Yeah, same here. You're getting stronger, too. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I've been lifting weights. Just stupid, I know. But, uh, somebody's gotta do it. Okay. I can... Let's see... If I can connect... These things. So, one thing I've no I'm noticing... Is that... Uh... Right out the gate... We have a, a blue receptor and a, a, a blue dispenser thing. And likewise, we have red lasers and red uh, receptor things. So I think that that means that if I come over here, we have, yeah, we have a, a blue... Well, I guess what I'm saying is that um, we're supposed to guide the blue, the blue laser into the blue laser receptacle. And couldn't be simpler. Let's come over here. We'll grab that. And grab that. Grab that. Oh. Huh? Oh, that's kind of interesting. You can't cross the beams. Oh, that's cute. That's a funny little mechanic. All right, cool. So, I I learned my lesson. All righty. That's really funny. So now, I do need to open up that red laser door, but I can do it from over here. So the fact that I did it from the position that I did was actually really stupid. But I think that... Ah, I see. So... I do need to... I can't go uh, for the easy route after all. So I can open the red laser beam by coming around here. And then I can do something to this effect. And then blue laser beam... I can solve... By just keeping it internal to the to the outline that's made by the red laser beam. So we do this. We do this. Uh, and I do not have the connectors that I need to make this work. There's not another one hidden around here. Okay, of course not. Cool, so this is fascinating. I didn't explore the 100% uh, of this area, but I don't think there's anything actually interesting. That's where I can get a hint, but I don't need a hint. I'm, uh, I'm the fucking bird cat choir. Okay. Can I connect there and, like, over here? Aha! Okay. Yep, this will work. So I put that there, and then I can connect the red laser beam by just simply connecting to... Uh, if I put the the other connector just like over through that window, then this will solve it just fine. So I just need to make this a, a visible just from like over here or something. Could not be simpler. Kind of funny that I I happened upon the solution, like the harder solution that is ultimately the one that I needed to do uh, first. And then uh, happened upon like the easier solution <laughs> after the fact. Okay, so this door is now open, which means that 
I... Oh, okay. It means that... I need to... Maybe this is a timing puzzle at this point. Because I have a couple seconds before this loses power. So, if I am able to pick up the red laser connector before that thing loses power, which obviously does not work. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I thought that I was a clever girl, but instead, I am just a average girl. Okay, so that door's open. Do this. Hey, if, uh, if the game can make Jeff Goldblum jokes, so can I. So. That door over there is open. What happens if I connect the hmm okay never mind I was gonna see what would happen if I were to try and connect a wait oh I don't need two connectors for the red I just need to get uh, the the exact right uh, angle on this stuff and I don't need a I don't need red uh, a double red connector anymore the reason that's significant is that I can use, I can put the other red connector somewhere around, say, here, and uh, connect it through there once that door is open. So, to that end, I just need to find a spot where I can put the blue connector such that I don't cross the laser beams. And I can put one probably around here. That does cross the laser beams, but it, uh, I can just take a moment and see if there's something I can do that... Uh, is there some position here that allows me to... Huh. Almost. Almost. Good puzzle design, though. Very... This is very, very clever. I like this quite a bit. So, to connect the blue to the blue, I have... I have to find a way to just angle this just perfectly. And that's not going to do it. Let me think about this. Can I use the two blue connectors to get this in? And then if I have that, uh... Oh, yeah, the other thing I was wondering is what happens if I direct, like, a... Uh, you can map it to pick up the connectors without losing the connections, allowing you to experiment with placement faster. Oh, fine. People are telling me to use the hotkey that saves a bunch of time. <laughs> Game options? Nope. Uh, what's it gonna be? Keyboard and mouse. Configure keys. We're looking for... Which one? You can sprint, journal, fast forward, zoom, strafe. Uh, maybe it's a gameplay option instead. Nope. Nope. Advanced options? Oh, we can see my FPS. Wow, 60. What a surprise. 
Uh, secondary fire. Okay, so secondary fire will set to be uh, right mouse button. Uh... Okay, well, um, hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so somebody in my chat has uh, suggested the thing that I've been thinking this whole time but haven't had time to actually think about it, which is using one connector to connect both red and blue at the same time. I'm sure that that doesn't work, but I could be wrong. And so if I wanted to do that, I could test that by doing this and this, that, and that. And then just seeing what the hell happens. Wait. Yeah. Uh, well, this is neat. Whatever it is. But it's not right. But it's interesting. <laughs> So, yeah, let's let's think this through. What exactly is occurring here? Aside from a whole lot of strange, we have one connector that is connecting both of the reds. And, okay, what if I do something weird like this? All right. So you can do some very funky stuff with the connectors where I'm able to establish that much. That, uh, you can lock onto a blue with a red. Normally the game rules wouldn't allow you. Uh, okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, there's something very, it's something very odd when I start like mixing up like red and blues and stuff like that. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can use the single red connector to uh, hit both of these at the same time. That's the solution. That's not even that hard. So all I need to do is uh, just take this connector and this guy and then just go around like that so that the blue stream is no longer um, getting, getting smashed. Just like this. The blue laser is now opening that. And then if I take this connector and map it to all three doors at the same time, then uh, this is solved. Oh, the, the blue laser beam is uh, still getting crossed. Oh, okay, okay, got it. So I need to connect it to that situation. From here so that opens up that door the blue laser opens up that door this thing can open up that door and we have solved the entire puzzle could not be simpler yay I sizzled it up nobody can Tetris harder than me except for all the people that are actually good at Tetris because I'm horrible at Tetris but you know what I'm good at collecting Tetris like things in other games <laughs> 